guys welcome back to a brand new video so today's video as you can see from the title is going to be like answering a few assumptions that you guys have made of me on instagram so i'm going to be answering a few of those uh, while doing my makeup because i haven't like done a get ready kind of with me in a while and i thought i've got a bunch of brand new makeup that's just kind of launched as well so i thought it'd be fun just kind of do my makeup chit chat with you guys and tell you about the new products that's just launched and it's just gonna be a really casual chit chat video so just chill let's just chill talk and have fun so without this long intro let's jump right into the video um, i think i'm gonna bring you guys a little back closer not too close because you know <laughs> i don't want to freak anyone out um, so I've already like prepped my skin. I've already applied my moisturizer and everything. My skin's actually been quite good. Like lately, mashallah, like it's been really, really good. So I'm quite happy with how my skin's looking. Um, however, I am gonna apply something new on my skin that's kind of just launched recently. It's the Laura Glow Sparkle Mist, and this is with coconut water. It is good to prime, set, and refresh your skin in this honestly guys smells beautiful literally if you love the smell of coconut you will love this so usually before i apply my makeup i like to just kind of spritz my face with this because honestly it makes your skin feel so good so fresh so glowy you guys will see what i mean in a minute give this a little shake and um, yeah and yes i apply quite a lot because this is beautiful <laughs> Uh, by the way guys before i get carried away and start going in with the questions and everything everything that i used um today will be in the description box below so if you are wondering where you can buy them from i'll leave direct links for you so anything that you want will be in the description box before i carry on and get too carried away with my makeup anyways um i've got a bunch of new things um to show you guys today which i am super super excited about so I'm just going to go in and do my eyebrows. I could pretty much do the same thing. I haven't changed it up. Like, it's pretty straightforward. Um, I used the Freedom Pigment in Soft Brown. And I'm using these new brushes from Zoeva. The beautiful, the like pink and gold they're absolutely stunning and i use the wing liner to kind of fill in my eyebrows and to conceal around it i use the 241 precise smudger just to conceal underneath my eyes and stuff you guys will see so i'm going to fast forward this bit because i've done this so many times but yeah i'm going to do a little montage of it for you guys so enjoy the little music a bit and um let me do my eyebrows <laughs> sisters not twins keep that in mind so for one of the eyebrows look a bit different that's probably why and then what i like to do for um concealing my eyebrows i like to use the Too faced born this way multi-use sculpting concealer this is amazing to conceal underneath your eyebrows like it's so good it's good to conceal contour highlight and retouch so i love this for underneath my eyes because it's like really thick and it conceals really well so love that <laughs> Weaver brushes are amazing they're really good they're very precise i love them so so much i added the leftover product that's on the brush just on my eyelids just to kind of prime my eyelids and uh, get me going for the eyeshadow of course yeah yeah so let's go through some of the questions some of the assumptions that you guys would have sent me on my instagram and i'm gonna answer them for you and go through them and stuff like that so let's see where the assumptions are okay here they are um, the first one is the same question that I get all the effing time is you don't cook for your husband. Okay, so honey, I don't know if you've been watching my Ramadan vlogs. If you haven't, I'll leave a little playlist down below for you guys. So definitely go watch it because I vlogged every single day for 30 days straight in Ramadan. So that was pretty intense for me. But yeah, 
if you didn't watch that, you would um, you wouldn't know if I cook or not. But basically, me and my husband are we do everything 50-50. So if I'm cooking, oh let me just zoom out now. Actually, get some okay. talk last. So how it works with me and my husband, like we do everything 50-50. So if I'm cleaning, he's cooking. If I'm cooking, he's cleaning. And that's kind of what we do to kind of share the jobs. And honestly, it works really, really well for us. Like it's kind of like a good balance for us. And um, yeah. If he comes home and he's tired and he's like tired from work and stuff, obviously I'll cook for him. He's my husband. I care for him. So that's kind of what you do for the person you care for. So when people say like, oh my God, you never cook for your husband. Mm -mm -mm. Honey. Honey. Nah. Obviously me and my husband both like to take like turns. And he just really enjoys cooking. Like he just really enjoys it. And he's so much better at cooking than I am. So but anyways, um, to answer that, of course I cook for my husband. I mean, yeah. <laughs> That's what I have to say. Of course, I cook for my husband. Next one is. The next one is you are pretty. It's not an assumption. It's the truth. No, thank you. <laughs> Looking pretty like this. Oh my god, with like a massive turban, half eyes, not so cute. Uh, but yeah, thank you. Next one is you love animals, and that is very, very correct. Let me just stop you here for a minute. I'm going to be using the new foundation. This is the Laura. Wow, another Laura Galeo. Filter first luminous foundation and this is fairly new and I've got it in the shade ivory and this honestly is so so nice I've used it already and it just looks beautiful so I'm going to add a little bit on the back of my hand I just used two pumps I feel like that's kind of enough for me like I don't like my foundation where's my brush gone Okay, I'm going to use my beauty blender. I don't like my foundation to look too, too cakey. Like as long as it covers my skin, I'm quite happy with that. Okay, if I have a shoot or if I am taking photos that day and stuff, then obviously I'd want it to look flawless. But on a regular basis, honestly guys, I just probably use maybe even one pump. I don't like my foundation to look too thick. Look how beautiful this foundation is already. It's stunning it just makes you look so flawless makes your skin look absolutely amazing without you looking cakey like i love cover a bit of that redness around my nose because i like get a, a lot of redness around my nose i don't know why but um it's something i suffer with and i've suffered with that for like the longest time ever but since i'm doing like a full-on look i guess i'm gonna go for an extra pump because I'm doing this whole look for you guys. So, you know, might as well look cute or whatever. So that is the foundation done. This is how it looks close up. I love this foundation, honestly, guys. It is beautiful. I look a bit washed out, but I am going to add bronzer, obviously. Anyways, for concealer, I am going to go and use the exact same Too Faced concealer and conceal underneath my eyes. What is the next assumption? Oh yeah, I didn't finish the the, the, the previous assumption. Yes, I am. Um, yeah, you love animals. Yes, I love animals. Like my whole childhood, like, we used to have quite a lot of animals growing up. We had chickens. Um, I've had like a little turtle, which I absolutely loved. Um, we've I've also had like kittens. Yeah, so we've quite we've had quite a few animals like growing up. So I'm used to having them around me. So yes, I absolutely love animals. Like. I love them so makes me happy okay so to contour my face i'm gonna use this and um, this was like the kkw dupes from primark and um, it's called nudes and it's a cream like contour and i'm gonna use this side and um just contour my face let me know if you guys want me to do like an everyday makeup look this is not my everyday makeup look by the way guys i don't wear this much makeup but let me know if you guys want me to do an everyday makeup look, like going back to school or going back to work. Let me know because I'll definitely like do that for you guys because I switched a few things up. And um, oh my God, it looks so crazy. So yeah, I switched a few things up. So let me know if you guys want to want to see that video because I'll definitely do that for you. I've got my Real Techniques buffing brush and I'm just going to buff all of that out. Anyways, the next assumption is you wear a fat cat. <laughs> A fat cat <laughs> oh my god you were a fat child so the assumption is slightly correct I used to be chubby as a child but um, I was never fat as such um, I was chubby like back in secondary school um, that is correct I used to be chubby I feel like when you're younger when your parents give you like pocket money I feel like 
all you do is like go to the shop and buy yourself sweets with your friends and stuff so that's probably why i was chubby like we used to like every like day after school we used to like walk with my friends to the corner shop buy like penny sweets and stuff like they were good memories don't get me wrong like i really enjoyed that probably why i put the weight on because we used to always do that with my friends like after school and stuff and that's really good memories i mean i miss those days i'm not gonna lie like i miss the carefree days where you like you had no worries no stress nothing you know it's just like living life it was those are the good old days that's for sure this concealer for underneath your eyes honestly makes a huge difference it really really brightens underneath your eyes and it really highlights the area underneath your eyes and it just makes it look flawless so i love this and um, like i mentioned it is a bit thick but if i'm going for that full-on look then i don't mind it looking quite like you know highlighted underneath my eyes i can't I, I can't get my words out today for some reason i don't know why you know when you have one of those days where it's like nothing's coming out and i'm just like please come out <laughs> yeah i'm having one of those days where it's just like i'm not getting my words out right for some reason i don't know maybe i'm tired because i went to the gym in the morning i'm not sure okay so that's kind of the base done i am gonna go and um bake underneath my eyes i don't do this on a regular basis like i mentioned but this is a full i'm gonna do a full look for you guys so why not um i'm gonna use my very trusted laura mercier loose powder and translucent and i'm gonna put that underneath my eyes and bake you know you know you know you know and i'm gonna get my beauty blender which looks very mucky and i'm just gonna pop that underneath my eyes this translucent powder is the best translucent powder i think i've ever tried like it is amazing it just makes everything looks so incredible i love it i love it a lot okay so my camera just died on me as per usual but technology for you hey so yeah i've kind of just swept that away using my sigma brush this is a soft blend concealer and i've just brushed away the the baking okay cool i don't know what i'm saying anyways moving on to the next assumption i have to move fast because my battery keep on dying because i can talk for england and it's it's pretty crazy <laughs> um next assumption is you are never full of yourself no babes that's true i don't like to think i'm better than anyone else because no one should really think that way because you should just be humble because humble is good um by the way i'm using the hula benefit to um contour my face but yeah um i never think i'm better than anyone else because why would i want to think that like no one is better than anyone else everyone is the same we're all equal no matter what like even if i'm on youtube or even if uh even if i got a big platform like we're all the same no one is different so i would never want to think i'm better than anyone else because that's not me it's kind of never been me so i'm not about that life do you know what i mean do you know what i mean and when people meet me in public a lot of you guys say oh my god you're so down to earth you're so like real you're so genuine just like your videos which mean a lot to me because i never want to come across that i'm like you know better than anywhere else or i'm showing off and stuff like that because i'm not that sort of person like i've never been that way like my parents never kind of like you know i've never grown up that way so i'm glad you guys feel that way it makes me happy oh my god it's a butterfly how pretty oh my god it's a white butterfly that's so pretty Sorry, I got distracted by the white butterfly just on my window. It's so cute. Okay, so now that I'm done with my bronzer, um, I love this bronzer so much. I'm gonna go on to the next assumption. I better move fast before my... Yeah, okay. <laughs> Our next assumption is you speak multiple language. That is correct. By the way, um, before I answer that question, um, I'm gonna be trying the new... Oops. I am going to be trying the new Zoeva Premiere Collection that just launched two days ago. So if you want to get your hands on it before it sells out, I'll leave it linked down below for you. Definitely check them out because the collection is selling fast as it is. So if you want to get your hands on it, now is the time. I love the collection. It looks so, so good. Like very, very pigmented and packaging is definitely on point. It's beautiful. Can we, can we just? it's just stunning i'm gonna go and apply curtain call just as a blush on my cheeks with my blush brush with my blush brush blush brush blush brush oh my god help 
Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. It's 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 extremely pigmented. I just did like this. That's all I did, and it's just extremely pigmented. I'm gonna get my brush and just kind of blend that all in together because it is super super pigmented. The blush for sure. Okay, happy with that. Right, moving on to the eyes because you know I've got a new palette to show you guys, and my bloody battery is like flashing at me already. But this is a new Zoeva palette. Let me show you quickly before it dies. Look how pretty! Oh, okay. Look how pretty! It's so, so gorgeous. I am so excited about these two shades over here. Like, yes please. I don't even know what look I'm going to go for because I haven't really thought this through. But I'm just going to go with the flow and let's see what comes on my face. You know, this I have quite a lot of selection. So, you know, quite happy about that. So I've also launched a few brushes. So I guess I'll be trying out the brushes for you. And um, yeah. So the first brush I'm going to try out is uh, Luxie, Luxie Crease in 228. Um, I've got a few more brushes. Um, let me open that up quickly and then you know, I can carry on all the radio. Uh, <laughs> this brush is, ooh, perfect. This brush is um, Classic Shader. So, okay, I'm going to go in and um, put something on my eyelids. I think I'm gonna go with Fort Wall, which is this one over here. This looks lovely. Shall I zoom you guys in a little bit? Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna go and apply that. Oh my God, she's pigmented. She is, um, she's pigmented. <laughs> okay, so I should be doing this assumptions, shouldn't I? Curly tail, I haven't done this before. <laughs> okay, right, so next assumption is you this is so funny you promote things without even giving uh, without using it just to get the money okay so if you've been following me on my youtube channel for a while then you will know i am not that person i've never been that person i am i don't do this for the money i don't do youtube for the money um i was doing youtube for like two and a half years solid without earning a penny of youtube so just comes to show that youtube i've started it as a passion i just thought one day you know what i'm gonna do it because i had a lot of friends and family told me you know you should do youtube you're really good at makeup or i love your style blah 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 you should just do it a lot of my friends and family told me to do that so i did it and i enjoyed it i did it for like two and a half years without earning a penny of youtube but just recently over the course of a year year and a half um i've started to actually make money so i don't do youtube to make money because i am not about that life like if i if i'm really passionate about something and i really enjoy it i'm just gonna go for it um but so yeah just to answer that question no i don't do stuff just to get money promote things just to get money the only things that i do um promote are things that i actually really like and stuff that i wanted to try myself and i have and i enjoy it i get emails without being big headed i get emails on a regular basis like ask me to promote this and the other and i don't reply back to them because if it's something i don't like or don't enjoy or don't think that you know it goes with my whole youtube theme then i'm not going to promote it just for the money because i've never been about that so to answer that question it's a fact no no i don't promote things okay okay what this is a good one what do you think about youtubers removing the uh, removing the hijab when it's 100 comp percent uh, compulsory to do so okay so i um have always been this person where i'm like everyone is on their own journey so leave them be like i don't like pointing fingers at people and be like oh my god look she took her hijab off so she's a bad person blah 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 no everyone's on their own journey like we should you know support them no matter what they're doing like you know they might be going through a struggle, they might be going through a hard time and stuff like that. So how I see things is I'm like, you know what, I'm going to support them. If they're happy with their decision, then, you know, you should just support them and be like, you know what, that's fine. It's what, uh, what you want to do. But um, also, like, you can advise them, you know, advise them privately. Don't go in, like, public and, like, shame them or whatever. Like, you can just message the person privately and be like, you know what, I don't think what you're doing is right, blah, blah, blah. But don't, like, name and shame. I hate that. Anyways, moving on to my eyelids. I don't know what I want to do. Do I want to go for like a gold or do I want to go for something a bit more like... I might go for this one. Ooh, this is so pretty. Um, It's say, say goodbye. Say goodbye. Yeah, okay. I, am, I think I'm going to go with that. Pop that. Ooh, what the hell? Did you guys see that? <laughs> Pop that all over my eyelids. 
it's like gray but like mixed in with like purple like i've never seen a color like that before wow i'm gonna go in with this really pretty brown and kind of blend everything in together because it needs a bit of nude you know you know you know plus i love wearing like browns and nudes around my eyes it just suits my eye color and it makes my eye color stand out a lot better to all my brown eyed girls out there you guys know what i'm talking about oh my god i just realized i didn't answer the the question which is like you speak multiple languages yes i do i speak english a little bit of french a little bit of arabic so there we go happy days are you planning any holidays to be a, to a different country anytime soon all i'm gonna say is keep your eyes peeled because there um yeah i'm i might be going on holiday really soon and you guys will find out where and i'm excited so and I, I i definitely will be vlogging it for you guys because like hello hello like i have to vlog it for you guys so i am going on holiday soon i'm excited inshallah so you know there's gonna be cool vlogs and i'm excited so yeah <laughs> okay so i'm done with the eyes i've added a bit of this really nice cream just kind of in the center of my eyes just to highlight that and underneath my eyebrows just to highlight underneath my eyebrows so i think i'm pretty done with the eyes i'm going to move on to um, fake lashes i think i'm going to add a little a really 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 thin layer of eyeliner on the top and i should be back but that's pretty much it for the eyes i think okay so i'm done with the eyes i added the demi wispy lashes and then i added a black kahal in my eyes and then i did my eyeliner quite thick i was gonna do it quite natural but i was like you know what with the whole like turban big earrings i think i want to go for something a bit more bold so i went for like a thick liner but anyways um underneath my eyes i'm gonna smoke it a bit further and with the brown and um add a bit more mascara underneath my eyes i feel like i need something so i'm gonna go back in and blend that all together okay so that's the eyes done i love the smoky look i'm just obsessed anyways for highlight i'm gonna go with the new palette this is a cosmo glow and just look at that that is pretty intense i've already used it and oh my god is it pigmented you'll see in a minute i'm gonna go with milky way and i'm gonna add that everywhere where i would usually add my highlighter and honestly guys just wait for it just just wait for it you know it is intense honestly I love it and then I'm gonna set everything with my mist again this stuff guys is incredible honestly I think I've said that before but okay guys so this is the final look I just used a lip, uh, NYX lip cream on my lips because my battery is again gonna die on me so I have to be really quick I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did don't forget to smash that thumbs up and I love you all so so much